Hi everyone, today I am going to speak about caching and how you can use it to make your uh, scene run faster. So basically caching is a technique that uh, trades CPU time with memory. So let me explain what the problem is first. Imagine you have uh, like tens of thousands or millions of objects uh, going along a spline, right? Uh, every frame every one of those objects will have to solve the mathematical equation of a spline to know where it should be, what its position should be, and rotation, etc. Uh, that's a lot of calculation, and that takes some time. And so a solution could, <coughs> sorry, a solution could be to, instead of calculating all those calculations every frame, to calculate them only once, for a specific number of points on your spline and then reuse those results and only those results in your calculations. Uh, so let me start by going to the view options and show the approximation gizmo. So basically here we have a spline and we have at those uh, positions uh, we have cache points. So my cache is constituted of or is made of uh, data about the spline in those positions and when my objects are using the cache to move <coughs> sorry to move they will not solve the equation but they will interpolate between those different points so here as you can see in between two cache points, the shape of the spline is kinda linear. It's not a line, but it's close to it. So by making a cube move linearly between those cache points, we will have a cube that looks like it's going on a circle. So let me show you. Here I have four cubes and let me first hit play without the use of cache. So as you can see, the cubes are, you know, going in, in a circle. If I use cache here, they look like they are going in a circle, but in reality, they are going linearly between all those points. To make that very visible, let me reduce the number of cache points used. So you can do that by going to advanced settings in the spline inspector and modify the cache density. So I will reduce the cache density. And here, as you can see, I have only four cache points in my cache. <coughs> Sorry again. Uh, and the cubes are moving linearly in between them. If I increase, it's less and less visible until we have a result that looks like they're going in a circle. So yeah, the, the whole point is to find that uh, cache density value that gives a good enough result without, ha without having to compute like all those points because the more points you have, the more memory you are using and you don't want to use memory that can be saved. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, here, as you can see there is this parameter called use cache in spline controller and uh, you can use cache in other places in curvy uh, you can use it when using the api i will make another video about that and you can use it also in the curvy generator so basically uh, when you input uh, a spline in your curvy generator, you can choose to uh, make the curvy generator use the cache of that spline or not. Uh, but you know, there will be another video about uh, this point and some other points that are close to it uh, that will be coming maybe in the next few days. I hope that helped you, and yeah, have a nice day. Bye.